Yo, it's Guido coming at you with a tactics talk. Welcome back. Thanks for tuning in. As always, keep the support coming for the channel. I do appreciate it. Hey, we have one of the contest entries for the ISU 130. This is the Destroyer 321. 54321 Destroy. He's in a 5916. A tier 6 Chinese light tank that I like quite a bit. Fun little tank. My recent 100 battle challenge. I actually played this quite a bit because it wasn't quite at 100 battles. There we go. Two marked. Two marked. In fact, this is a three mark game. Gets it to three marks. He gets spotted right there. Unknown by what exactly. Might be a scout there on the road. They can come down the road. But then this guy. What about this guy? This guy is... Uh, I don't know what this guy's doing. He. <laughs> that is... That's a good place to spot. And a good place to be spotted and killed because it's wide open. So this is a three mark session for the Destroyer 54321. And he has gone over, he's on Campanova. Campanova, you notice that the name of this in the files is something like Campanina or something? It's got camp in it. But anyway, this is camp. Campanova is Malinovka with camp in front of it. This is Campa Province. Camp Province, I don't know, this map. <laughs> I did a recent video on this map, it's terrible. Now watch this. He's looking for a place to shoot. He's like, all right, turn your head. Turn your head slightly to the right and cough. Right slightly to thank you. <laughs> right into the side. That 220 is really, really interested in that spot and will stay there for a good portion of the game. He does get hit by something, so a little bit of spotting damage. So he's up to 189 spotting and 95. You'll notice the gun doesn't do a whole lot of damage on this thing. And whoa, what on earth? So we have a shift zoomer here. Hey, whoa, what the heck? So I don't know if that's an artifact on the replay, but this is the second time I've looked at it. So I think he's using shift zoom, and that, there's something weird going on there. And a couple shots into there. Had to know he was going to be spotted, but very careful. You'll notice one thing about the Destroyer 54321, that he is extremely careful about lining up shots and taking shots, especially when he has time. So he'll come around here, and we got this guy. Also, the depression is depressing. Look how he's having a bit of an issue. There we go. A little bit forward, a little bit of a down slope, and down goes the 38, which is now not applicable to this match because he is gone, the 38 NA. Gone. There's only the destroyer. I'm not going to do it this time. 5, 4, 3, 2. <laughs> that was loud. I hope that startled somebody. Missed a shot right there. Churchill 3, him, himself, his own self, and this M5 steward are the only guides that went across. The only guys that went across, unless there's a dead person or two over here, there might be. And we've got a couple more contestants. Over here, we got an M3 Lee and a Lukes. We'll see how, see how Lukesy he is. <laughs> that's, that's a pun. Anyway, he's looking at this 220 who is, does not show any kind of inclination to come out from behind his hidey hole right there. A little bit surprised he's not taking arty fire, but he must be tucked up against a building close enough that he can't be hit or he's just being ignored. So we're very carefully looking for a shot in here. There's a track. That's not going to do anything but track him at best. The M3 Lee takes a hit. So we're going to switch back over to this side and see what we can... Whoa, there's that shift thing again. It's crazy. Uh-oh, whoa. All right, there we go. M3 Lee, there's a shot for you. Oh, the ship thing again. And a miss. Gunnery there. Issue, obviously, right behind him. Gets a shot on Jester Ace. And we're zoomed in on this rock. What the heck? He doesn't want to go through that whole ship zoom thing, so he zooms in before and moves around. <laughs> Whoa, there's a bounce from the Lukes. Can we say he got Lukey there? <clears throat> <clears throat> he did. He did get Lukey. 14 TP. And all kind. Whoa! All kinds of customers. This guy's. There we go. That's nicely done. Sits there to where the guy can't get his gun on him. Takes him down. Now maybe we'll kill up. No, the M3 Lee gets tracked, and then he gets a bit of the building, and maybe this time. There it is. Down he goes. Watch this. Shifts to gold. While the 220 is angled, he's got a better chance. There we go. And that convinces the 220 2 to move back a bit. Doing pretty good. Pretty good. It's fairly even. 10 to 8. But notice that he's done all this work over here alone. 
The Churchill was actually down low on the low road. The M5 has finally moved up. We'll watch this M5 gets a little bit silly here in just a moment. You'll see that our hero, the destroyer 54321, lift off. He's going to change his mind and come around this way. This is an interesting decision. There, there's still a KV-2, a KV-1, sorry, no, 220-2, a 12T, which is last seen on the other side over there. And one other thing, what is this other thing other than the artillery? The 14TP, which is yet to be seen, actually. Oh, there he is. There he is. Shot into his back. Can't get turned around fast enough. Down he goes. But the 220 does manage to get a shot, and then the LEF puts another shot into him, and unfortunately now, he probably had the hit points to stand in and kill that 220-2, but not with the LEF helping him, and the fact that he lost some hit points right there, he's going to have to bail out of that, I thought that was a good decision, but not the M5 Stewart, by golly, the M5 Stewart has decided to help the Hydro, who just died, and now that, we're going to watch this, because the Destroyer 54321 liftoff is going to go across the map, so we're going to watch this act happened. The steward gets in there, gets a little piece of him, and then gets starts getting crushed. So he's <laughs> he's getting he's getting bullied by the 220. And I'm not really sure. I wish I could get up there and see what was going on, because clearly the 220 has him pinned, but for some reason is not shooting him. And I I can only assume he's trying to crush him to death, or maybe he can't get his gun on him. He, you know, dr driven up onto the wall or something. I, <laughs> you can see he's slowly losing hit points as the 220 smashes him into whatever he's smashing him into. <laughs> And pretty soon here, there's a KV-1 on the other side. Pretty soon you're going to watch the M5 Stewart get squashed by the 220-2. Like I said, I wish I could see what exactly was going on over there. It must have been pretty good comedy. Still no shot. You would assume that if he was had him pinned, he'd have a shot. And there he goes. So I don't know if that was a shot. That may have actually been a shot. At the end game, he was not able to crush him. <laughs> I wonder how much bouncing was done by that M5 Stewart there. So here we go. We're going to come over to this spot, and the KV-2 is coming after the KV-1. We get a shot that misses. Big old blast. There's a shot into the side, and now we got him pinned. And probably the, one of the bigger mistakes that was made right here. It's a great game, but I would have definitely been going for his tracks. He's sh trying to shoot into the bottom of the turret, and he's showing a pin capability. And he finally switches over to gold, which I probably would have done earlier. And then this guy. Well, this guy just drives by. No apparent concept of somebody right behind him. He's just driving along in his automobile. <laughs> that was, uh, you know, the thing about good games, oh, of course, he already has to have his word in there as well. The thing about great games is there is often at least one, if not multiple, of those kind of events where somebody just loses their mind and you get some free damage in there. There's a big mistake made by someone. They're, I don't know, they're, I don't know. I don't know. I can't, I can't tell why that guy would have just driven by like that. But you got to take advantage of it. And that's where the big games come from. Because if everyone was really paying attention, you wouldn't get any big games. You'd have good games. But it'd be much more difficult. Now, this guy's just sitting there. So he takes a hit in the turret and he wonders, Hey, uh, what is someone shooting at me over there? Um, uh, I think it's about right there. But... Uh... <laughs> Oh, uh, one more shot and he's dead. This is it. And no, a ricochet. Maybe we'll get a piece. We're going to have to the top of the turret there. Piece of the turret. He hugs the rock. Hugs the rock destroyer. 54321. He's got five kills. Five kills. There's still a 220. The KV2, which can one shot him, obviously. So I'm thinking, great, here he goes. He's going to come down. He's going to go down there. No, he's going to change the angle. All right, I'll buy that. Let's jump in a bush and see if we can find the KV-2. No, we're not. Over in this bush. We're going to take... No. Oh, God, you're not doing this. Don't. <laughs> I'm thinking, okay, he'll go to the right. He's going to go to the right. I bet the KV-2 is looking that way. He's probably looking up towards the direction the fire was coming from. So we're going to come around. We'll go wide right and come around behind. We'll go wide... Uh, wait a minute. <laughs> He's got to be put. Oh, and now we're proximate. He sees us. Oh, jeez. <laughs> All righty. Nicely done. Okay, so we're at 2,193 in a tier 6 scout with six kills. Six kills. Now, 
Just because it's a three mark game and an ace doesn't mean you won the game. It does not mean you won the game. Now we're looking pretty good. The 14 TP is supporting him well. Um, I don't know what he's doing. Anybody been watching what he's doing? I think he's been over there most of the game. Looking at walls, maybe protecting Artie. There's no telling what was going on over there. But we're down to 14 shots. We have 5 APCR, 9 AP. Quite a bit of time, and this is a good move. This is a scout player that is thinking right here. I'm going to change this fight. You notice how he went up the hill and acted like he was coming up that way? And then once he knew he was dark, he waited a nice long time. He completely changed the side he's coming from. Now maybe that 220 is still sitting there, but probably not. I bet he would have been proxy lit if he was still in his same hole. So that changes things. That means the 220 actually does have one working brain cell and did move. Doesn't mean he went far, but he did move. So we're going to come out here kind of right out into the open. And then there's the 220, so we'll swing around here. And holy cow, this has got to be the end, right? Clearly this 220 the, already missed by a mile. We're going to build it. No. Uh, all right, 220's got him now. He's going to crush it. No. <laughs> he's not. He's going to do no such thing. And it's just the big finish. Destroyer 5 4 3 2 1. Lift. Oh. Was he going to lose? He could lose, folks. I didn't say he won. I did not say he won. This is an LEF. They reload quickly. They actually have pretty decent frontal armor as well for a tier 5. Artillery, here it comes now. It's exciting. There we go. There's one. Oh, he's gonna turn and shotgun him. He's gonna turn and shot. Didn't kill him. He missed. He shot and missed. It's over. The big finish. That was quite satisfying, was it not? When artillery dies at the very end, and you have eight kills and 2,674 damage in your 5916 tier six Chinese light tank on arguably the worst map in the game. It's so exciting. <laughs> 337 assist. 330. That's low, isn't it? That's not very good for a scout. This is an awful, awful game. How can you drive a scout and only get 337 assists? It's terrible. Well, you do that when you're doing all the damage yourself. I'm not good with math, but that appears to be over 3,000 combined. Or maybe 45 million. I don't know. It's one of those numbers. <laughs> hey man, thanks for sending that in. This, like I said, was for the contest for the ISU 130. I'm not saying it won, but I got some pretty good games involved in that, and some pretty funny ones. So some of those I'm going to use for videos. I wanted to show this kind of a mid to low tier scout game on a kind of a crummy map. Now he was top tier, so that's always a benefit for a decent player. But really well done, man. Nice carry on that. Appreciate you sending that in. Everybody else, we will see ya.